the reason that I started dancing was on account of a little red-headed girl. <laughs> they wanted to learn me how to dance. I was about 10 or 12 years old. Uh, she was some of them over at Cherokee, and uh, back when I was a teenager, they used to have square dances. I thought we went through them mostly. We'd clog a little, but you know, between the square dances. But uh, they used to have a square dance right along in this area right here on Wednesday night. They had one in Cherokee on uh, Friday night. They had one in Bryson on Saturday night. Uh, we went to just about all of them, and most of the time we'd have to hitchhike. Ride the back of trucks or what have you, you know, because they wasn't too many cars then. It's been a long time ago. I'm not as young as you might think. But now we used to do when we spar danced. We done the same kind of dancing that we do a clogging. Only we done the different sets, you know, bird in the cage and the bird off out and then they open shut the garden gates and all such as that. You see, and as, as we went through all that, we was a dancing at the same time. You see, that, right. just like clogging. We used to belong to a square dance team. We took first prize in Asheville one year. We danced against over 100 teams. And we took first prize there one year. Which team? Uh, Smoky Mountain, square dancing team. That's what we were. And Jimmy Cooper was mostly the one that called it. I could call some, but not, I wasn't nothing like good as he was. But we used to really have what we thought was a good time of dancing. When I started dancing, uh, I picked up these few little steps that I do. They call one of them the double shovel. How you do that with your right foot? And the three step is with your left foot. Come out there and dance like that. And this double shuffle, you do it twice, you see. Right in a row is doing the double shuffle. And you've got to dance fast. That's the reason I dance fast. You've got to dance fast to get that double shuffle. You don't necessarily have to dance that fast to do the three step that I do. But I've never seen nobody else that uses them steps. I just started, that's whenever I started trying to learn to dance. And that's what fell out of the tree, so that's what I took and tried it. Everybody seems to like it. But, uh, I love to try to dance. I really enjoy trying to dance. And it's the best exercise that anybody will ever have. Get yeah. clogging. Do you call your dance clogging? I call it clogging with other people. Some now up at Color Week, the, at the, at the, when I dance up there at Western Carolina, they called it flat footing up there. So what would be the difference between buck dance and flat foot and clock? They, it's about all the same thing. They, I wouldn't think it'd be enough difference. To, I think it ought to all be called the same thing. That buck dance and you slide your feet backwards. On buck dancing? Mm-hmm. You sure do. That's the way old timey right. buck dancing. You slide your feet, you start off with your feet backwards. You take your, you pull your foot to the back instead of doing the shuffle well, to the front. But you throw both ways though with it. You don't you, always pull them yeah, all the way through the back. Yeah, you can. mix it up, but yeah, you, the yeah. old time you start. Everybody I ever seen try to do it, that bit was mixing it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. I, my advice to young people is to learn it. I'd like them to learn it because it is the best exercise you can find that you can get at clogging in. 